money, big money. You're looking at some of the youngest millionaires in Northern Kentucky, on paper that is. Many of these seventh graders earn more than a million dollars playing Fidelity Investments online stock market based math game called Portfolios. So this year we actually had 440 millionaires come out of the online challenge and those students only invested $27 a week on average. So that just goes to show that with minimal investment starting at an early age, anyone can do this and anyone can get that knowledge base to be a millionaire. Portfolios is part of Fidelity's Investing in Students Making Math Count program in the Kenton County School District, a math initiative designed to teach students percentages and the benefits of compounding interest in an effort to put them on the road to financial literacy. Save it. Yeah. Stocks are more than cash. Yeah. You would get more money out of stocks than you would just ordinary things. Mm -hmm. This is a big need, and we know that research shows that only 27% of young adults are actually financially literate. And filling that gap at a young age actually yields growth um, when students get to a point where they are starting those careers and they want to plug into a 401k. How do they do that? How do they go about it? So this gives them a little bit more information to make smart financial decisions in the future. Well, I think the reason it's successful is because it not only is innovative and creative, and so it's inspiring them to see the application of math to real world problems, real world issues. But what I also like about it is that they work in teams. And the future of employment, the future of the workforce, is creating the ability for students to learn that they need to work in teams to solve problems, to improve themselves, and to improve the community. Portfolios consist of classroom and online workshops. In the classroom, a 10-year investment plan is simulated. Dice determine ups and downs in the market. Students use math to determine percentage changes in their portfolios. Online is a 40-year simulation. The seventh graders answer math problems to earn money to be invested. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. It was very enjoyable. Yeah. When we first started, they were I don't want to be here, my teacher is forcing me to be here, and about the third round, they, they got it. The light went off in their head, and ooh, this is cool, and so they really got into it. So yeah, I've seen that. It's really helped get some kids excited about math who otherwise maybe don't do as well in math, and this has given them a chance to experience some success. At the end of the six-month competition, the 128 top earners head to Fidelity to showcase their money and math skills competing for iPads and other prizes in an NCAA March Madness type investment tournament. What's actually so special about today is that we can show everybody where really the community and the business worlds integrate together and you see the enthusiasm on both sides so hopefully we can show you know the children how much we're interested in this and we also can learn from them where their interests are. It's a beautiful marriage. To tell you that I'm retiring from Fidelity. This is my last day at Fidelity, and I can think of no better way to spend my last day with Fidelity than being here with these kids and this energy and all their volunteers. It's a great opportunity. I love it. Our first place winners are Sabrina Schuttemeyer and Holly Mills. Holly Mills and Sabrina Schuttemeyer from Turkey Foot Middle School took first place at this year's competition. For winning today, each won an iPad but their real victory is financial literacy, and that is a win which pays off for the rest of their lives.